All right, here is the second match between Fritzle and Zond. With me is Andrew once more. Um, Hello, everyone. We're going to hope to see as interesting match in the second round as the first round. Yeah, it was a, it was a good game. Uh, Fritzler said it wasn't one of his best games, and uh, if you watch it, you'll see some uh, you'll see our commentary, some uh, discussion there. But it, uh, like we were discussing, it's really hard once you commit to a strategy to go back on it and some sometimes yeah I think it's yeah. a bit psychological yeah yeah it, it, there's a lot of lessons to learn from that game and without being it's like it wasn't a pro game it was a pretty good game and mm. you still can learn a lot of good lessons so it's yeah. a game you should definitely yeah. watch I think I do think that it was uh, misplayed by Fritz because he stuck to his strategy when he I think he, he should have uh, changed his tactics when he saw uh, the melans on the table but uh, you know it's a learning point yeah definitely and if I remember correctly, Fritzler is playing Wayland. Let's have a look, see. Oh no, HB. Oh, okay. So, uh, he's the creative part of this tournament. He's the one player not playing criminal Wayland. Yeah, yeah. Which is good, I want him to win just for that. Yeah, definitely. I'm, uh... uh like I said, uh, Wayland is, from my point of view, the strongest corporation, and criminals are, again, the strongest runner. But, yeah. uh... Actually, but still, come on, people. Let's see some diversity. Yeah, <laughs> I get sick of seeing this much, Yeah, I did. Um, I did uh, have a thread in Flame War in Card Game DB the other day about somebody claiming that uh, we need to ban noise. I was like, oh, boy, not this again. I was like, why noise? Because uh, he's around. Him. He trashes ten cards and wins the game. And it was like, this ended up in a huge this is clusterfuck. A good moment to a good moment to excuse myself for the people I may have offended or born game geek when I was uh, picking on people that were saying cards need to be banned. I, I, I'm really not a big fan of banning cards. No, no. And I really think that it's right now it's a lot of like doom saying. It's like, oh, the world's coming to an end. We're all going to die. We need yeah. to ban these cards. Especially let's, when let's let the game evolve. Especially when you see runners, uh, people saying, "I oh, ban this uh, this guy, ban this guy," and um, the they don't not really prepare to change the strategy to win. They just you know they expect to do the same thing and always win against noise, as the same way they win against criminal. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, this is like uh, that's why I think it's like people that have bad experiences with one card or another. Oh, and then they look at that E3 first hand. E3 first hand. Just out. And he has two Byroids in his first hand. Ouch. Yeah. That's just, that's just nasty. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe maybe if he plays that Katana and uh, and uh, Criminal Face plants it. Uh, it's actually uh, going to... Yeah. It has a very good chance of yeah, hitting it. Right really I, I put down the Enigma definitely on one of the central servers. Yeah, yeah. Probably Katana, yeah. yeah. Now, if, if he face plants the uh, the katana, he may lose that T3, which is really, really useful. Yes, yes, that would be just awesome. The problem is, he might think about putting the ninja down before he runs. Because the only things that can really damage him are the sentries. Mm. I mean, when you're playing has bio, the bio is can damage you too. But if he has like one click left, he can take care of the damage. So. Yeah, yeah. No! No! Where? Yeah, I think he uh, missed it. Yeah, okay. We're going to see a face check. Which is, if he hits that katana, it's going to be ouchy. If he hits that ninja ND3, ouch, ouch. Yeah. There's, the decoy, I think, is the only card that he's willing to lose right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, the bank jump probably as well. Because uh, it's unlikely that Byron is going to. Okay, now, now is the moment of truth. Let's see. People just yeah, don't expect the... don't expect katanas in HB. They just yeah, don't. Yeah. They run with the first click. Where yeah. goes E3? Out. out. Yes, uh, and, and, oh, and the Nidza! Oh! 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 Huge. This huge. is going to hurt. Absolutely huge. Yeah, and the... Uh, Props for him for running HB and uh, for playing in HB and for having a neural katana mm -hmm. and anti-props for having Victor in it. 
Yeah. Actually, I, Victor, Victor, I do not think it's bad. It's a decent card. It makes your other Bioroids better because they can't afford to break both of them with clicks. And it's very expensive to break with Cold Gate Breakers. I don't know, it's not that expensive to break with. It's just one more expensive than Enigma. And I've won so many games off Victor as runner. Problem is, it's, 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 uh, problem is that um, uh, Enigma uh, doesn't do anything after the first run. Because yeah. Enigma, you, uh, you run it with a last click and it's only one click to break, one credit to break. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, uh, like, uh, I'm just falling in the category that I was saying before, just like my personal experience with it has been very bad, and it, w it wasn't on my side, it was when the corp was having it, I was like, when I see a Victor, I'm Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is something, uh, he jacked out and took the credits. No, no, he, he didn't check out. There was no uh, no point because he, he asked. That was after he took the damage. He used Gabriel. Ah, he accessed, okay. Yeah, because he went through the Nero Katana. Okay. Yeah, and that Ash without Corporate Troubleshooter, they can make one mean server. Hmm, maybe. I'm not sure of the combo. Yeah, it's a, if you want to put it early and you don't want to have it destroyed, that's how it works. Hmm. But then you and just you run again, they trust, they trust us and then run again. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, they run twice and then they don't get any agenda. You put them down both and they think it's something, one of them is going to be an agenda. They run through the entire server, they see Ash. They run through the entire server again, and they get some corporate troubleshoot. Two runs, don't get many agendas, spend them a lot of clicks. Mm, maybe, and maybe. If, if you play a corporate troubleshoot or something that can damage, it can be quite strong. Oh, we see a, a sneak door, and that can actually uh, tear the, f the, the tide a bit. If he, if he snipes you know, that uh, troubleshooter and uh, us. Yeah. The, the game's definitely not over, but that was a very good uh, mural katana. That absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Let me put the music a bit down. It's stronger than I remembered. Yeah, and as a fun note, uh, I've been watching a lot of... Uh, Reviews, let's say, or instructionals from uh, Watch It Play. Then I noticed that on uh, the Watch It Play channel on uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. um, Rodney added you to his top five uh, favorite videos with the um, o OCT Gen uh, tutorial. So, mm. Doctor Gun tutorial is up there in his top five favorite. For for whom? Uh, for uh, Rodney Smith, um, the the guy doing the Watch It Play series. Ah, uh, who? Hold, what's the Watch It Play series? The Watch the Play series is a series on Board Game Geek, and uh, this this guy Rodney Smith, and he takes a game and he plays through it over. All oh, right, 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 he's, right. Uh, he's quite popular on uh, Board Game Geek. Okay. They're, they're good. They're, they're good sessions. They're quite fun. Okay. So now I think it would actually be a good move to go like um, Victor, Melans, Ash. Let's see if yeah. it's going to yeah. do what I think. The the victor's there. Victor is there? No, he's gonna uh, go. No, just crits. He's going to put, uh, I guess, um, a second one. He's going to put Itzy as well. And then go Melanzas. Yeah. yeah. But if he. If, uh, um, if John D goes with the Sneak Door uh, beta right now, yeah. Might pay off a lot. Oh yeah. Cards, they can trash and they're like, yeah. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's going to hurt. He doesn't have that many <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get two, so he's going to have enough to trust uh, the first card that he accepts except us. Yes, yes. Let's see. 
Let's see. He gets three actually, because he gets the. <laughs> he hits the one he cannot trust. Ah, he has Desperado as well, so he can just trust everything. Yeah, he's three. I think he's gonna run some more. That's yeah, he, he can just yeah. get the information he needs. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That, if he gets that melange and that for the troubleshooter, that, that's that's where the money is. Yeah, I think uh, he yeah, should have later. he should have played that melange and that uh, us. And again, oh. he sees that Itzy. He has no luck. Oh. Now, so I think if he doesn't hit that melange, he's probably good. Let's see. Yeah. Is he gonna? Hold no, he's not running oh, again. He's sick. he's sick of seeing that edge. Yeah, he wants to do it again when he has more uh, more money. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, so, uh, yeah, when he gets more money, that's why. That, that's going to stop though. Yeah, but that door is about to close. Yeah. That sneak door lasted quite a long time, and uh, yeah, that's a pretty solid situation he's in. He can even account siphon if he wants if he finds that ninja. But, oh my god, that first turn, that, that katana was so good. It just, you can see how much it pays off to put a katana when the runner doesn't expect it. Yeah, yeah. Especially the problem with uh, HB is that they're so weak, their ice is so weak at the start of the game. Roto turret does nothing, Itzy does nothing. Victory is so easy to pass. So you really need to splash something that can protect you. And katana is one of the best that can protect you at the start of the game. Because these three starting cards are huge. Is the three? Yeah, you slow the runner down. Yeah, and it's also and it's also the three cards that they mulligan for. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be good. Uh, in I I also have my Hasbiro deck with uh, Stronger Together, and I run uh, I run it myself. I I, I think uh, I have the impression that our friend there is uh, kind of scared of more katanas at this moment, or is it my idea? Maybe I'm, I'm not sure. He, yeah, he he wants to. He, he probably wants some more icebreakers right now. He just has the corroder. Oh, perfect, hand, perfect, perfect. Now he plays that uh, Heimdall. Play that Heimdall on his uh, server. Put that. Uh, put that Melanz and Nassin, and you're good to go. Yeah, and uh, since we were talking about the new deluxe expansion, you have the Awakening Center, which uh, I'm gonna have a look at it. I'm gonna read it because mm -hmm. I think Heimdall combos really well with it. Uh, Hemdal is not the best. I think the new Ichi combos perfectly with it. Costs exactly yeah, seven. The, the new Ichi, the new Ichi is definitely the best. But Hemdal is also very good. With it. Hemdal will just end the run, obviously. Yeah. But uh, the new Ichi, the problem is with Hemdal, they can just spend a click, break the brain damage. With the new Ichi, what the hell are they going to do? They're going to take something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's anything so play. The center says uh, that you can host the, uh, you can host a bioroid, each piece of ice installed face down, and ignore all its cost. Whenever a runner passes all ice protecting the server, you may raise a piece of ice on Awakening Center, lowering the rest cost by 7 to force the runner to encounter it, trash that ice after the run is completed. Also, so you really another option might be Janus. If he if he manages to run everything and then you have a Janus there, he doesn't expect. You know, never, nobody... Yeah, I was thinking about the Janus, but the problem is it doesn't... Yeah, it does cost... It does cut, like, his cost down in half, basically. Yeah. And uh, the thing is... You might not want to use him in other situations, because Giannis is pretty much the first time you see him. So, that yeah. is probably a good idea, just put him there. Yeah. He's gonna get himself trashed, but whatever, he didn't have to pay full price, and you can do a lot of brain damage. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm um, really but curious... I think, like, all, all, all those three, I think, are very viable options. The, uh, I'm thinking that the, the handle is good, because sometimes you really want to end it. It's like, you know you need to end that one. Yeah, true. Okay, and we're seeing the ninja? Problem is, you play this kind of deck, you really want uh, all the cards that bring cards from your uh, graveyard, from your uh, trash, from your archive, because you're going to be wasting so many cards through that. Yeah, well, the thing is, you have Project Vitruvius, Archive yeah. Memories, yeah, yeah. and uh, Director Haas's pet yeah. project. That's what you need. So, <laughs> Haas Barrett can definitely do that. Yeah. So, I'm really curious that we haven't seen that Melange yet. It's a really interesting play. I usually try to get on my lands going, but Fritz uh, is really playing it safe. And he drew another, uh, yet another Heimdall. I'm really curious why he's not playing that Heimdall.
and admin lands. Let's see if he's going to put Sass or Heimdall. I was I would put Heimdall. No, he takes a credit. Okay. No, he, he just drew credit. Okay. He why? Yeah, I think. Um, I think he's playing. He's he's uh, betting that the uh, the runner won't run servers remotes. Let's see how true he is. Or maybe he's expecting he does the inside job it. But if he does, his ass would save it. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what he's going for, but uh, uh, I don't know what uh, John D is running. Uh, he's probably running Peacocks by the look of the uh, influence so far. Mm. But uh, if he's running Yogs, <laughs> there's a lot of eyes going away. Yeah. Well, that E3, that E3 was huge. He has more Bioroids than I remembered. And uh, that E3 would have really cramped his style. Yeah. And that, that was... Uh, that new katana did its job. Oh, so much, so much. And if he manages to trust the second uh, ninja, it might actually be awesome. Yeah, well, that second ninja is gonna be hard to trash. I mean, Ichi is the only thing to trash now, right? Yeah. And Ichi can be broken by ninja, so. Yeah. As long as there's money there, it should yeah. be fine. Well, we may see an aggressive secretary, I don't know if he has any. Second click, perfect. Now he can raise Itchy. And he is not afraid of losing anything. Well, he is, doesn't want to lose his good stuff, but uh, it's going to be quite expensive yeah, for him to break. Uh, that cost him six credits to break through. Yeah, but he's getting three back plus one from the compromised employee. Not a big loss. No, yeah, true, true. Or he can just let the trace fire if he doesn't want to lose the credits. Because he has the compromised employee, he can fight the rest. Ah, uh, yeah, but it's not worth it all that much. I think it just, yeah, he just breaks it. It's not worth risking. Mm. It's so probably not worth losing the actions. And let's see what he draws. And it goes us. Oh, no, he doesn't have the money. Oh, he does. He has it plus three. He does, he does. He's good. And that's... Just enough money to trust the Melans if he runs it. Yeah, but he won't. Let's see. Let's see. That Melans now is perfect because his hand is empty. And uh, I think he's going to run it. Let's see. If he does, Victor is going to hurt. No, no, no yeah. So I'm guessing we'll see a Melans being used now. Sure. No, absolutely no reason why not. <laughs> yeah, that's no reason why not I using suppose. melons. Yeah. You could, yeah, you, he could, much. he could play that Heimdall there just to make sure that it won't be trust immediately. Yeah, but Heimdall's not like it, it does offer some protection, but it doesn't offer super protection since you know that that corroder's down. Yeah, but it, that corroder still takes uh, quite a lot of mind to break. Yeah, but he might just do it. Yeah, but that's what you want. You want him to pay to trust the yeah, Melans. Yeah, but yeah, I think he just yeah, went for the easy option. He just yeah. got his money, that's it. And still, he has an unraised dice, so Randall doesn't know what it is. It's not like he's gonna run without taking the credits, and he needs like six credits. He can take the two from the uh, Armitage and then run if he thinks that's an itchy. Mm. And if, he, if it's not, I mean, uh, he runs into it, he has one more click left, so he either breaks the brain damage or the end run. What could the worst thing be? The, the only, the, the, the best thing for the corporation would be something like um, another Enigma. Or, um, yeah, definitely. or uh, what's it called? Or um, Tollbooth. Yeah, Tollbooth. Um, any code gate right now, because there's no code gate breaker. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Victor's also a cool gate. The problem is uh, he, he can be clicked away. 
Yeah, that's why I think he should have played that as last turn. I don't, I'm not sure why he he get, took a credit when us would have been would have been so useful in that place now. He would have definitely yeah, protected probably. his uh, melans for one more turn. Mm -hmm. Unless the runner took a one brain damage. Exactly I do not know. Exactly. I'm always a bit confused by the plays from Fritzer. He's like uh, definitely playing the way I wouldn't, uh, different way that I would have. But then again, he's winning, so. Must be doing something right. And he's he, he's not in a he's not in a bad position now in any way. So. Yeah. I think he's going to run it, just to face check what it is. He did the uh, he did the uh, you you can notice that he scared him off. Oh, with that Noro Katana. Um. Uh, yeah. Or how do you mean scare him off? Yeah, definitely. Well, that, that was a huge setback. Now he'll have, like a lot of he'll have to decide now if he takes the brain damage or trusts that Melanze. Eh? That's pretty good for Victor. Uh, I'd, 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 I'd take the brain damage. You would? Video, like. I wouldn't. Yeah. But you can see Victor does work, man. That Victor is good. Decent card. Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, you can definitely play him in some really good situations. So it's not like... Don't play this card ever. It's just a personal opinion of mine. I don't like him. It, it doesn't fit my place. Maybe. Like maybe. Maybe because you're so reckless, so victors don't care you that much. Exactly. But uh, don't do it basically, if you put a victor in uh, in a central, it uses the runner's whole turn if they want to get through. So if they have a magnum opus in, that's uh, as uh, use as interesting as if they every turn took took use two magnum opus and run your server, so... Yeah, yeah, the only problem is that uh, you can make your side through him really easy, which is exactly what I do. I, I've had him, I think I've had two games in which uh, he was on... Uh, he was on uh, uh, R&D, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a Hunter and a Victor. Hunter, as you people already know if they watch our videos, I just take tags like there's no tomorrow. And the Victor clicked him away, and kept on doing that turn after turn and got so many agenda. Okay, well now we have an agenda. I will still use my lance once more. Probably the good idea, because that handgold doesn't come in cheap. Yeah. And you want you want some money for the court. And you have so too. many unrest dice, you're really going to need that money yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. Played the uh, Enigma. No, no, he played the Ice Ball. Uh, he doesn't have an Enigma. Anymore. Ah, yeah, cool. Yeah, all the Enigmas are now. Okay, that Ice Ball is not going to be very useful, but he's probably going to try and scare him from running with his uh, last click. But he can just run with his first click and uh, not care. Yes. Oh, maybe we'll see another Heimdall there as well. There we go. Okay. He's preparing for the big war. Yeah, I think he's trying to scare him going like, okay, this is a Heimdall, next one is Ritzi. Are you going to, to uh, call my bluff or not? Uh, he just trashed the melange. Okay. I really, really doubt that was a good idea. He's going for the fast game, so really doubtful, yeah. Uh, he has an enigma in front of HQ. He's afraid he's going to. He's, af he's afraid he's just going to take the chance to sneak to him. But still, I'm not sure that's a good idea. He's going to waste so much money just uh, trying to protect that server. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I. I would have. I. I would have kept it. One, one more turn. One. Yeah. One yeah. And I would have one. One melange, and then next turn I would have done this trick. Exactly, exactly. I mean, the way he did now was good, but he should have just waited one more turn. Yeah, he, he, he had, the, had the space in his hand, so there was no reason. I really, I've, I've learned lately to try not rushing my games, especially since when I have seen no surprises from the runner. I haven't seen any sneak doors, any steam hacks, nothing. Because uh, almost always when that happens, if I try to rush the, because I, th I see an opening, 
the runner would just go to go last, ah, steam hack, inside job, stinkering, whatever. Yeah, he's gonna do it for you and waste some cards. Definitely, definitely a good call there to let him. And it was pretty clear that he was interested in it, so. Yeah. I will see how this goes. Mm -hmm. I think it might be that Fritzer is more interested in getting those uh, four points down uh, be, we, instead of winning the game. But he still needs to win the game to actually win the... the, the, the... No, it does make sense. He won't uh, win the match if he does take those four points. He actually needs to win. Yeah, exactly. No, uh, yeah. I don't, I, there, there was no reason to rush it. It's like the point difference isn't that huge, even if he, if, if he loses that one. It's not that brutal. Yeah, he still hacks through. And that means he's probably going to uh, take the bluff and try to see if that's an itchy. Yeah, no, no, he's uh, he's gonna go all the way and he's gonna he's gonna get through. He's stealing that agenda. The question is, is he going to use his uh, guy? If he doesn't he will break him for free and then continue on if he does um, he's just going to waste all his credits and he's going to waste his, waste his steam hack and the two clicks from uh, Victor so I think I wouldn't do it yeah it's, it's hard to do it yeah and again if that, if that was a melange this situation would have been a lot better yeah the thing is that um, he can't he can't gamble now with an itzy there because uh, he can still break it with a ninja he has the money now with the steam hack yeah definitely no whatever it is he can get through it yeah no reason on the first size notice doesn't give him anything nobody uses this <laughs> Maybe he's trying to bluff him. He, uh, they can't be an edge of uh, edge of world. Though. We're not playing C. The, right the thing is, he's getting through with that steam hack, and it's not going to cost him that much money. So might as well like waste the steam hack money, do the clicks, and take one brain damage, and that's it. Yeah. So I, I don't think this was a bad move because uh, how much would Heimdall cost? Let's have a look. It would cost eight. He can break it with uh, four. Seven. Well, yeah, if he breaks it with seven, then seven plus one for dice ball is just the same half money. So you show him what ice you have, and it doesn't do anything. Yeah. If that was a net of wall, if we were playing with uh, Cyber Exodus, it might have been a bigger problem for him to, you know, just go through. Well, what, what card are you referring? Edge of gold. Edge of gold. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Ah, there comes that my lunch pack. Is he going to play it? I think he should. Why? Why wouldn't you play it now? Yeah. <laughs> he gets the one credit from it. He gets the. He can take two credits, then he can just use it. He needs the money. Yeah. There's a lot of advice here. Is he going to try and bluff him to run again? No, I think he's gonna play both of them. Let's see. Yeah. And take one credit because yeah, there's nothing else to do. Yeah, he probably does he doesn't see Come again? He doesn't want to uh, have the chance that he runs his hand and steals it. The... Yeah, yeah, he might just lose it like that, so it's like yeah, if he runs through it, he loses the melange, which is bad, but he's gonna waste a lot of credits and everything. Advance? Oh. Ah, okay. Why? I'm not sure. sure. A an easy threaten would be so much better there. Right now that advance does nothing. It's better to use the melange and advance it three times in one go. What? Yeah. I think he's uh, play no, 
is the yeah. is the thing is the uh, what's you call it uh, trick the trick of light is legal yeah yeah I guess in that's part of his strategy but at this yeah, moment the Nietzsche and it's the Nietzsche threat would have been so much useful and why advance enough if you don't have the trick of light yeah exactly I mean, you can make the claim that he can uh, get a trick of light later and advance it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not glad at this. He doesn't have any agenda. There, there's no rush to do the trick of light right now. Uh, let's Yeah, I think he should have kept that melange. Oh, definitely. No doubt there. He, he could have afforded to melange some more, so... What did uh, John lose from the steam hack? He lost the bank oh, job. Okay. Bank job. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he lost the bank job. No big loss. He's not gonna use the bank job for that server at least. Quite a lot of thinking. Ooh, there we go. He's going to stop that uh, run. There's no reason not to. That Enigma is still there. Yeah, he's not happy with that Enigma there. Quite a lot of anti-tag mechanisms there. Yeah, and that he doesn't really need. Hmm. That's why, that's why when I play criminal, I like to not take that many anti-tag mechanisms because it just basically prepares you specifically against NBN or Wayland. I guess it depends it on. Much against Gintech, your has byron. Right? It depends on what your meta is. Yeah, if your local meta is very tag heavy, maybe you're expecting Pierre to be tag heavy as well. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. uh, let's see that melange. What did he draw? He drew a nice. Okay, that's there's no point not to use melange. Come on. Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna do it now. And it's it's a it's a very good ice. It's a toll booth. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Very important. That's gonna come in handy soon. Mm -hmm. Not sure, he's probably looking for the money yet. <laughs> and an Ash, perfect. Hey, and we see an Ash, yeah. Just melange. I would no play. Brainer. I don't know, I would play that Ash and then melange. Uh, I don't have any. Yeah, melange is also good. Yeah, you can't melange. Yeah, just melange now. You don't need that super protected. You can just use a corporate troubleshooting. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Yeah. I mean, that Ash needs to go down, but it doesn't need to go down. Yeah. You just hope he won't run your hand and find you and eat at us uh, randomly, you know? But yeah, still, it's, it's going to be an ex- Yeah, yeah. He can deal with it. It's bad if he lose the Ash, but it's not like critical. He has the toll booth, which is very good insurance right now. Mm -hmm. He's looking for- there we go, finally. What was he going to do here? Sure gamble and then get his uh, code gate breaker. I wouldn't do that as my last click. Yeah, not as my not as not as my last click. No. Yeah, he can t trust that uh, sneak door and get another card. Just draw credit because he knows he has the money. Or do sorry, draw credits from uh, Arnetish. Well played. He tries to crash space, it didn't matter, whatever he trashed it was. Mm -hmm. As long as it was in the special order, which he was definitely not going to trash, he can. Yep. All those cards are pretty much useless for him. 
And Melange one more. I don't know, it's at this point where you really need to do something before the Brunner builds. Let's see how he does. There's no agenda, so... That's a problem, yeah. There's no agenda, so you can't do anything. And he's not gonna draw cards. It's not worth it to draw cards yet. Let's see, let's see. I do one more turn of my launching and then I put down the Ash and the... Oh, and the, the Toe Booth. He's going yeah, to... He's gonna... Ah, he starts proper protect okay. Nardy to make sure. He won't get the... Um, make his eye. Yeah. Which is a smart play, smart, smart play. Yeah. And maybe now that you're uh, using clicks, play that uh, toll booth as well somewhere. No, oh, he's going to fight for the credits. I, I probably would have put it down. You yeah, me too. Put it down in front of the yeah. server. Yeah. Or advance that ice. Yes, I mean, yes. he wanted to advance that ice wall, obviously, so why not keep advancing it at least? So you have your he trick of... Wanted it to be, he, he wanted to be on level playing field. He wanted the Corroder to be on the same level as the Ice Wall. I, I, I know, I mean, it, might, it might have been just like some fluke in his logic at some point. It, it wasn't huge. It, it, uh, up, to, up until now, it doesn't make any sense, but... Uh, Let's maybe see. he just... Yeah. It wasn't huge. No. But yeah, at this moment you have the money, you might as well advance it uh, three times or two times and have for your trick of light. And some extra cost against the, 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 the best, From my point of view, the best option would have been to trash that and put the toll booth. No, if he's playing Trick of Light, it obviously makes sense, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's like if he, if he plays it. I'm not sure he plays it right now. Let's see. The problem is, if he does play Trick of Light, well, his only advanceable ice is going to be the ice wall. So he's hoping of drawing one of the three Tricks of Light and one of the three ice walls and having it and advance it. That's like one complicated combo. It's not that difficult to do, yeah. Let's see. He may be running traps as well. Yeah. We haven't seen any of those either. But they, they might be there, but we just didn't see them. Yeah. Oh, Peacock is so bad against Enigma. Especially with that E3 trust. Yeah, no, he really, really wants that E3 back. <laughs> Let's see. How's oh, Fritzler going to play it? I think if he draws agenda, he's going to play it. Okay. Now I will get more melons. straight up 8Q runs now, for which Fritzle doesn't care. Okay. That's one way to reduce the cost. And it's a good idea because he gets 2 if he does the arm and touch, but that 2 is like temporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. He could also have run with his last click, but which is not always a good idea. Yeah, he does not like what he sees. Still, information. Yeah, and uh, I mean, uh, the Peacock and Guardian Blade, I think they break uh, Tobu for the same amount. Because it's 2 plus 2, yep. So. It's not in any way more costly. Got a Diesel, a good, a very good car. I'm a big fan of Diesel. Okay, that Rodo Tarts. Nah, useless, unless you manage to somehow boost it to sky high. There's no point. Okay. I mean, he does have corporate trouble trigger, so that... I'm worth it. Mm. Now, if I was running Trick of Light, I would advance that ice wall three times. No, he's gonna go for it. Yeah, no, no, he's... I'm starting to doubt he's running that Trick of Light, I don't know why he's Me too. Me too. Me too. 
I think uh, maybe he'll be running some kind of ar uh, archer or whatever. Or he, may, he wants to make sure he can spend, outspend the runner at any time. Oh, that E3 saved him so much. Yeah, that E3 would have been golden. And that E3 just keeps getting better and better with the new bioroids. The only problem is that the version 2 bioroids do require two clicks in order to break two subroutines. So, uh, you can't do that for like three of them. Hmm. You can actually do it for one of them because one of them is going to be the action and, and that's it. Good run in. He's going to trash that uh, Ash. Nobody reminds my cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if, if I was him, I, I'd just, uh, yeah, just res it, pay a bit for it. Make him pay for that one card. He's gonna trash it anyway. So. Yeah. Question is how much? Because he has so much money. Of course, you have more economy than he does, so it might be worth to just uh, increase it to a decent amount, like eight or nine, and uh, then just take the money back I mean, with Melans. Yeah, you might want to do it so they make sure that he either does not see the card or does not trash Ash. In no, I think I would Ash. do it I, because when you, the runner has so much money. Uh, I would. Uh... Okay, he makes sure he doesn't see it. Okay. No, oh, he makes sure he can see it if he uses all his credits. Yes. Which is a good move. Um, at this amount of money, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have paid that much. I would have paid less. That, that's what I'm thinking. So. Yeah, yeah. The runner is obviously not going to pay. big risk to see in just one card so I don't think it was worth that much money I would put it at something around eight or nine yeah 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 that would have been probably a better idea yeah no he just on the other hand uh, on the other hand uh, yeah, on the other hand Frizzle hasn't seen uh, any cards yet any agendas yet so it's very high chance that there's an agenda waiting there let's see Plus, if he gets if he does get one agenda he wins the overall match uh, let's see another. Yes. We're probably going to see another Melange. Yeah, he did waste quite a lot of money in that run. Yeah, he still has 10 credits. Because so, those compromises the employees keep on paying for them. No, I mean the uh, Frittler. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I think he's worried about his RD. Because he hasn't seen that many agenda. Mm. Well, Katana there will actually make it uh, pretty protected because that's 4 extra credits per run. And yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think he might drop it there. Because he, he probably wants to keep the toll booth for his main server. Mm. Lots of thinking, lots of thinking. What? 
Ah. He wants to yeah, be able to make uh, to make money on the fly, I guess, and maybe force Arane to run on that server. I'm thinking he's, he's mostly using it as a bluff. Yeah, but... Because he's gonna be like, why did he trash his melange? Makes no sense. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, th I think he is thinking about using it as a bluff. Yeah, me too. But um, something tells me Fritzler's uh, zone is not going to fall for it. Let's see. Problem is, it's not even that well defended bluff, unless he plays at all booth. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, playing the toe booth. It would keep the appearances going. I would still take a melance uh, one turn, then next turn do the bluff. Not this turn. Okay. Whoa. That's just basically uh, telling him that's something fishy there. Why didn't he put it on that server, if he put an agenda in? Yeah. No, I, would I, I, would still, I would still go one melance and even... Then do the, that trick next turn, when you have full hand, and you know what's in your hand next mm -hmm. turn. Still don't know why he advanced that ice. He just gave away it's not an itchy. That's all he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think John D is presuming that's a Hadrian's Wall. I don't think a lot of people splash Hadrian's Walls. And even if it is a Hadrian's Walls, you still don't want to give it away. Basically, reduce the number of calculations that runner must do, or what that might be. It can be either a Sado, a Hadrian's Walls, or a, a Wall of Ice. Yeah, there's three possible ways right now, so not huge. Okay, but he's running on it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I'm really surprised at how he's uh, wasting his money. If he actually used that corporate troubleshooter now, for example. It's not really a good idea either. And if he doesn't, he's going to lose it, so... First, uh, if he's going to use it, might as well use it on... Uh, maybe they small. The Heimdall, well, maybe it would have been better. No, because he can just play with clicks. He can use it on the Victor, but uh, he has 2 for 3 again. So, the runner has a better... Uh, Option for Victor. Has a better ratio. That, that, why, why? Why do that, that? Just give him two credits. Give him one credit basically because he does have to spend one. Mm. But you lose one credit too, so... Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is he going to... He has eight credits. Well uh, no, uh, it's, yeah, it, eight it credits. doesn't make sense. It's not enough. It's no, not enough. doesn't make sense. At least it cost him uh, six credits to break that victor. You see, if he actually didn't use that uh, ass so much, he could have easily saved that stuff. Yeah, and yeah, he now he's really low on credits. Yep. I mean, if he had an agenda in his hand, yeah. Then, yeah, then it might make some sense. Okay, he trusts all of that, you play the agenda, you can do something. But I'm really, so really confused of why he's playing it this way. The lucky thing is, he got an hour toll booth, which is very much so what he needed. And if you want to keep the runner's money low, just don't use that ass so much. Don't make the runner pay for the ass instead of just trusting it. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking probably take three credits or install one piece of ice on the remote then. Problem is now he, he's really low money again, so it's getting tough. Yeah, it is.
I really think that 11 credits on us was a mistake. Far too much an, uh, uh, far too much an investment. And especially against a runner who wants to see you poor. It was like, yeah, I won't see a card if you are 11 credits poorer than me. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to call right now. Yeah. We've seen very little agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shuffling is uh, very much uh, for us. Making those two compromise employees very, very happy. Yeah, and we've seen huge amounts of ice. There's like nine on uh, on the board now, and three. Yeah, four more in his hand, so that's thirteen. That's I'm guessing. I'm guessing he's playing with a lot of ice concentration and uh, accelerated beta tests. Why is Protect his uh, R&D so much when he sees, uh, he knows he has... Yeah, he's HQ. I don't know. I don't know why Maybe he's, he's bothering Maybe he's afraid of... Um, of... Uh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and the E3 is finally back. <laughs> oh, shit. He had two of them? Ah, that's going to be brutal now. That's going to be just brutal. I think it's this. Uh, once he plays that E3, it's going to be GG. I think we're going to see three and then start the runs on the archives. Because why not? Yeah, well, he's gonna do it next turn, huh, man? Mm. Sneak door and the decoy. <laughs> yeah, archive memories! Hey! Finally, to put that melons down again. Hey, <laughs> yeah. The problem is it really ruins the whole element of surprise. I mean, he's gonna know that's melange. Mm. I always have the my my mind the idea of you know play drawing a melange and then putting a snare down or something. Yeah. Yeah, he needs that melange right now. He needs more money. Problem is, as soon as he plays that melange, uh, E three is going to go down. It's going to be trust immediately. Yep. So unless he follows up with the uh, toll booth on that server, that Milan is going to go bye bye. If he does put the toll booth, he gets one credit for installing, so that's a ten. And he needs to trash. He needs to trash one of the pieces of ice. Mm. He's probably going to trash the ice wall. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't really do anything. Is going to play it on R and D, maybe? Uh, he might be doing overdoing the protection there, but then again, the E3 uh, E3 feedback implants, uh, it's gonna. Yeah. Okay. If he actually just Hard makes money now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to can, taken that task because he can simply run his hand and then trust it.
Yeah, not a not a hugely useful move from my point of view. Yeah. I think we're going to see how he runs now. He hates yeah, runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's gonna he's gonna catch on. That there has to be something there. I think he he's, he has to run pretty much uh, nine agenda. If the math is right. Would have been really he's sneaky. We have been really sneaky if he pulled the, that the ass from his hand and then played the uh, accelerated beta test or something. <laughs> yeah, that would that would have been very nice. Yeah, so pretty much he has to have nine agenda. We've seen one so far, so there's eight left. Mm -hmm. Eight out of twenty-seven cards. That's pretty much, that's almost one in three. John is thinking maybe he's trying to bluff him. I think he may actually run that remote. Yeah, that's one thing. And the other one is like, you're running on, uh, you're running on R&D. It will cost him a bit. Yeah. that all booth is expensive. He's, he's expecting a bluff. And, uh, nice. Yeah. Smart of him. That's just good, it's wasting his money. Not much of it. He but gets one more back from the... Well, he does waste two clicks as well. Yeah, that is true. But it's, it's not huge. It's not, it's not game ending, but it's basically one turn just to check that this is an else. And he has just enough money to, to trust it. Annoying. If he didn't have money to trust it, it would have been so annoying. Yeah, but I mean, he did the math. Are we going to see that lost agenda finally? Yes. An agenda. Problem if he plays it now, he can still steam hack in, unless he plays that all booth as well. I think he should. Yeah, I think he should trust that ice wall play that uh, all booth. And advance the. Probably scary force my one. Mm. He's still going to get steam hacked, but uh, it's don't. I don't think it's going to be enough. Seven credits for the toll booth. Seven. Then two more for the um, Heimdall. That's enough. Two more That's and one, enough. three more. He needs three credits. So if he takes three credits and runs. Yeah, because he does need to. But uh, he can just spend two clicks on Heimdall, so he gets in. Um, it's the same thing. If he, it's the same thing as taking uh, one click to for credit or uh, spending. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. What well, we're gonna have to see if he drops it. Uh, and since he dropped the agenda, he most definitely should also drop the. Yeah. yeah let's see. Let's one. see. Let's see. Is he going to? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping he also trashes it. No, I think he's going to keep it. Oh, yeah. Well, that would have have him one credit, it's not a big deal. Yeah, that is true, and it costs the runner one credit too, every time, so. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't rest, I would have trusted, obviously. Problem is the runner doesn't know what that ice is, so... Let's see if he can, if he's willing to blind steam hack it. I would, probably. Once you have a full suit, there's not a lot of things that can surprise you. The only thing that would be absolute worst would be an archer, but uh, there's no agendas to... He can't raise it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There we go, I'm going to see the steam hack. So he's gonna get two from that toe booth, yeah? I think he doesn't have enough That's money. 11. He's going to have to take brain damage now. Let's see. 
because it's going to be 11, he gets 11 credits. And oh yeah, he has the two, the yeah, he has the two of them. Yeah. He has seven from the toll booth, he needs two more on uh, Heimdall, one more on the Corroder, oh no, sorry, yeah, one for the Ice Wall, and one more for Victor. Yeah. So that's 11. Plus four more, 11. That's exactly, exactly what's what missing, yeah. Those compromise employees. Those compromise employees are so good. So good. If you can get them money on their golden. That E3 is making the game. Yeah, E3. Yeah, the E3 feedback just powers through. And yeah, this is going to win him the match. This agenda actually. Well, not the one to win him the match. He's going to ah the match. Yes, yes, correct. If he only had one more advancement on that ice wall. If only. Yeah. That, would, that would have actually made quite a bit of victory. He wouldn't have trust us. He wouldn't have been able to trust now. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it just comes down to one thing. Quite often. <laughs> he was thinking maybe it's a trap. He didn't have money to use the trap. If, if it was a jump bug, he would have killed him. No, he, he didn't have, didn't have, the, money he didn't have the money, no. Yeah. Yep, never forget the compromise employees. Really easy to forget them. Everybody's poor, nobody has any cards. <laughs> yeah. And Fritz keeps throwing those eyes. Let's see if he let's see if he managed at least to, to sustain his game. <coughs> He lose his uh, yeah he lost it. He lost his extra ram. Otherwise he would have been able to uh, fend fatal into his R&D, into his tollbooth. Which he must still do by discarding the uh, sneak door. Mm -hmm. But he can always get a free look into HQ every turn. Yeah, only problem is nothing he's going to see now is going to scare him in any way. Mm. I would actually put that Victor into uh, archives. It would cost him uh, one extra click and one extra credit per run, so that's pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to drop the decoy. There he goes. Let's see how Fritz can recover for this. I think maybe um, uh, aggressive secretary might save his ass at the moment. I hope he has some. If he gets an agenda now, he might he might just be able to score it before he gets the money. Yeah. 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 And here it is. Sorry, I better just. Huh. Come on. My octagon is kind of stuck. Okay. I think that's now is the time to play it. Maybe even advance it once. 
No, 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 put it down. Advance the ice wall twice. Maybe, maybe. He's going to put the victory in archives. What? Okay. okay. You really can't trigger that uh, accelerated beta test. That's what the real problem is. Because how how much ice does he have in this name? Yeah. We have, we're seeing like 5 on that server, plus 6 on the uh, 7, 12, plus 3 in his hand, he has 15 ice already. Yeah, out. yeah. and there's 23 cards left, how much ice can he have? Even if he has 25 ice, I doubt he'll draw more than... And probably... No, 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 there's really... I'm suspecting yeah. he won't... He's gonna trash the agenda if he does that. <laughs> I'm guessing he won't uh, use the accelerator beta test. Yeah, there's no good reason. Alternatively, he can just risk it. If he has archers and Januses, um, we haven't seen any of those, so he might get lucky. No, I, I doubt he is. I think we've seen pretty much everything he has. So. Hmm. Oh boy, if he does the account cipher now. Yeah, but he, he can't actually get that account cipher because it. Uh, it costs him too much to get through that server. Mm. He has four in just enough for the katana. And when I'm looking at this, it's like, uh, when one sensor will come out, the shapers are really gonna love it, because what you can do is, a lot of people are thinking, yeah, you just put the crappy ice on one server, and that's it. And that's one idea. Another one is just putting all the ice that is of one particular type in order on that server. Yeah, yeah. So you can just, like, you boost your strength up, and that's it. For the rest of the... Yeah. You just boost your uh, strength once, and that's it. Yeah. The only problem is they, they don't... I mean, they have the pipeline, which boosts itself uh, for the entire run, but they probably need a better one. Uh, I think pipeline is good enough. You can't have all of them good. You, yeah, you can have pipelines, a pipeline on a Dinosaurus with some... Uh, yeah, exactly. What do you call them? Uh, personal touches. Exactly. So, it can work. Come on, guys. Quite a lot of thought. Yeah, it was a really slow game overall, because the agenda just didn't come in. If those agenda would have popped up, the whole game would have went a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. I... How are you going to do it? A big server, you're not getting through. Got to see a slower play. Maybe not. What is he going to take his sim hack, I guess? Yeah, that's probably the best card he has. There we go. I would still uh, do it suddenly, but okay.
Oh, here's another agenda in hand. Now they're coming. Let's see if he's going to go for the desperation use. No, no, there's he, there's no way he's triggering that. No. But he's still penniless. Yeah, and the problem is that's the worst agenda he could have drawn. He's not scoring that. No, I think uh, priority requisition would have been worse. Not really. <laughs> yeah, but priority requisition, priority requisition would, lo would lose him the game. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Zod is keeping himself quite poor, so he maybe actually managed to get that agenda through. But right now he just doesn't have the money, so he needs to take money for like two turns. Mm -hmm. Still, I would play that agenda down, more protected than his uh, hand. He gets the one credit for it anyways. I think we're going to see R&D run soon, uh, headquarters run soon. The only good thing is that um, it's a late game and Gabriel is slowly running out of money. Yep. But he's gonna make a lot of money out of this run and... Uh, no, he's, he has, he basically, for each run of the, from the archive, yeah, come on. <laughs> for, each, <laughs> for each run from the archives, he's basically making, uh, losing one cl click, that's all. Yeah, yeah. I said he should have he should have played that agenda down. Yeah, he he doesn't like lose one click because uh, he pays two for HE, he gets three back. And oh, yeah. that click would buy him one credit anyway. So oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I forgot that he uh, the first click also breaks a routine. Down to 1047. Ah, oh, perfect. Now he can draw more money. Yeah. Come on, advanced something. If he actually had advanced that ice wall, it would have been quite a lot of difference because he's run that server like four times by now. Yeah, yeah. That one advancement he did was just the worst thing you could have done. Either you advance it to 3-4 or you don't advance it at all. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know why he did it. He was probably preparing to advance it later and never got to. Yeah. Now we get to the point where the runner really just tries to get the agenda in archives, uh, in R&D or whatever, before losing. That's what he's gonna do soon. Oh, very nice. That's going to go down yeah, immediately. That's one good card. <coughs> and he might actually force the runner to run that server with a steam hack, which is going to be huge. No, I don't think he's gonna bother. He's going for R&D from now. Yeah, yeah. 
unless the card gets advancement, he probably won't bother. Yeah. There's a toll booth in that, isn't it? Yeah, he can dress a toll booth. Even if he, even if he like uh, spends, uh, if, if he gets all the authority, the better tests in. That doesn't win in the game, so. Mm. I think if he managed not to hit an agenda, and uh, the corporation manages to get some bit of money out and maybe an, um, an archive memories to get the melons back, it's going to be very difficult for the runner to uh, continue. Yeah. Okay. Now he advanced that uh, as well. Mm. Too little, too late. I think <laughs> I could have paid off so much by now. Yeah, but yeah, what can you do? Might as yeah. well do it now. Uh, didn't have any other job probably, probably he's trying to trick him to thinking he is holding a trick of light and he's going to uh, fast advance uh, an agenda. I'm suspecting he's bluffing. It's a good bluff, good bluff. But I would still, as John, I would still probably let it through because. Um, Even if it's a three-pointer, it's still not winning him the game. Yep. Have the suspicion that he's only running two pointers. So that would mean he's running a lot of two-pointers, so that means there's a lot of agenda in mm -hmm. R&D right now. Mm -hmm. Lots of thoughts yet. Yeah, that's not that, that's not really possible, is it? Because the the only uh, two point agenda that he has available are um, sorry, beta test, mandatory upgrades, and uh, private security force. Vitruvius is not yet out. I don't. I don't. Is it? I don't remember. I, I need to look through my pile. Yeah, Vitruvius is Cyber Exodus, so he can't have that. Okay, so yeah, he needs three pointers. Okay, so he's not taking the bait. Let's see if uh, Fritzl is going to raise that thing. Probably he should. He yeah, does he need the money. No, he's not raising it. He's keeping it as a bluff. Or maybe he forgot. Or maybe not. I think he's gonna dance that ice ball some more. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is, at this point, he's only going to run that server like, maybe once or twice more. So, whatever advancing he does, it's not going to be enough. I would even consider putting that wall of uh, static in the uh, archives. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which is what he did, yeah. yeah. And maybe advance the ice world once. At this point, as uh, John, I would probably uh, start ignoring the archives and maybe play that fem eventually. If he runs R&D and if he, if he sees that uh, toll booth, he can just put the fem on toll booth and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Still, toll booth will have done its job. He just wants him to run less on the R&D and that's what's going to cost him all his money. <laughs> he might as well jack uh, out. Hold the Femme Fatale, yeah. No, he, he, yeah. he might as well jack out and run with Femme Fatale now. <laughs> Better investment for the future. Nope, he's yeah, going no, to go going through. For okay. Again, that, he might just win. It, it is true that he might just win it. It's like, yeah. he might just get through and also. He much one in three chance like he's I think though that's a kind of the last money he has. 
Uh, mm-hmm. It's taking all he has just to get through that R&D, so... Mm. It's tricky. We'll see if it pays off. Mm-hmm. I would still have raised that... Uh, uh, that add-on is... It's obvious he's not going to run that server. And you can... No, okay. He's not raising that add-on. Is... No, I'm gonna have him on. He might just hedge fund it. Or maybe, yeah, he can put a quick patrol for something. <sighs> God, this game is taking a while. Yeah. And so much ice. <laughs> I can't remember the last game in which I've seen this much ice. It's, there's... 5 plus 6 plus 2... That's 13. 13 on the board. 3 more in his hand. 16. And the archive memory is going to target. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little ash. Puts it back. Is he going to play the Nardin? No. I'm still not sure why he's not using that money. He's obviously not going to run it. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do it soon. I think he forgot or something. I don't know. Don't know. You forget once, you don't forget twice. Hmm. I forgot to raise a to raise a pad campaign. I think five times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and imagine if you had to remember all the money that you were making from pad campaigns and all that stuff. One of the good things about uh, playing online is you don't have to keep track of all that stuff. Yep, very true. And another anonymous campaign. Those agenda, that R and D is not very successful. Nah, he he's really he's really should have used that Adonis at some point. He's just trying to make him to bluff him now, but I really think the money would have been much more useful. He would have been able to play more ice on that server. Or even yeah, advance that uh, ice wall yeah. twice. If he doesn't run next turn, he should. He should really uh, use it. Mm-hmm. You can bluff much better if the opponent uh, doesn't have. Uh, if you're like two agenda points from winning. But if you're like. F- uh, Five agenda points from winning, it's very difficult to, to, to make the runner desperate enough to run. Uh-huh. What I'm yeah, expecting will happen... Uh, for inside jobs. Mm. Problem is, what I'm expecting will happen is that uh, we're going to see just an agenda snipe from the headquarters at some point. Yeah, we haven't seen any inside job though. That is true. None. There's only 11 cards left. Mm. And no force activation orders. Let's see if John will take the bait this time. I just drop that femme fatale, I take credits, drop the femme fatale next turn, stim hack into that, and that's it. Yeah. Stim hack if needed, I'm not sure he needs it. Yeah. 
Well, he doesn't know what the first ice is, so it may be another toll booth. So. But that toll booth isn't visible right now. It will be probably next turn, but not right now. Okay, there we go. We're going to see Steam Hack. The bet paid off, finally. I would raise that, Victor. That's another click he has to spend. Mm -hmm. You have enough to uh, raise your other eyes. Here we go. Okay, finally the bluff paid off. It's funny if you manage to. Yeah. The, the runner is very brain damaged right now, so it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I think he, the runner is going to really uh, try and uh, get through that server, whatever happens. He doesn't have a lot of money to use for it, so... Not E3. Oh my god. So, so good. He's running out of credits. He's not going to even have enough to uh, trust the uh, the uh, thing. He huh? can't trash both of them. Yeah, he can't trash both of them. He can just trash one. But let's see if the E3 triggers. If sorry, if the Ash triggers. It will trigger. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> no, apparently not. He's just going to let him see it. He doesn't want to waste his money He's raising eyes. Yeah, the thing is, if he trashes on the, if he trashes this one, he can't trash the ash. Mm. He probably won't trash this. Yeah, there's yeah. no point in doing that. Yeah, true. So it's a good play. Now he can raise that and uh, start getting money. Decent play. Decent play. Mm. Yep, he's going to go for the ash. That did cost a runner quite a lot. That is true. Yes, and now Fritzer can raise that and uh, start getting some money because why hell? Why the hell not? Okay. Now he's only left with one card in his hand and uh, three brain damage, so it's looking good for the corporation at least. Okay, perfect. Why didn't he raise it? Why? Don't tell me he's not going to raise it this turn again. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense. I wanted to ask him if he forgets to raise it, but I may give away his plan, so I'd rather let him. But I mean, okay, for a bluff it makes sense, but Wonder knows what you have, well, why not? You know what I'm saying? Andrew? Andrew? Probably. Packing his things. Sorry, I had to drop out a bit. 
Okay. Well, th there we go. He trusts the uh, card. He's going to maybe perhaps try to bluff him once more. If not, he has a corporate troubleshooter now. So he can stop one run at least. Hopefully. And then inside job really won't do much. No. He just bypasses it. Just the... Yeah, he's just. Yeah, he's gonna throw the credits, I'm guessing. Two brain damage. Now he can at least play that uh, memory and perhaps uh, play that fem. He doesn't have it, but he probably has another one in his deck, so he can keep drawing for it. Yeah, it was bound to happen. Mm -hmm. They had to be somewhere. Maybe he'll try to uh, an HQ run, I think. Mm. Uh, I don't know, this is like a really bad position for the runner, but he, I don't think he, yeah, he, much. he got the 6 points. Yeah, yes, Gabriel did uh, reach uh, the end game and uh, he's weakest at the end game. That's why I think it's a good idea for the people that play Magnum Opus with him. Yeah. That well, really mitigates that particular problem. Yeah, but you, you, memory is really you do sacrifice, you do sacrifice early game uh, momentum for that, which is where Gabriel is strongest. It depends on when you play it. Maybe you play it like mid game. Mm. It depends on when you draw it and when you play it. So. Yeah, yeah, true. It advances by one because if he needs to install something else next turn. Yeah. He did not, but I, I would have advanced it by yeah, one, me too. maybe he needs it free again. Yeah, me too. But he also wants to be able to corporate troubleshoot. Uh, he has enough to corporate troubleshoot with one less. If he has a steam it's hack, a not. Yeah, but... Mm, I'm not sure the steam hack would do it right now. You might actually see two corporation wins, you never know. Problem is there's only eight cards left. If there's no three pointers there, where are they? No no, there's only thir thirteen. I ah, sorry, thirteen. I was looking at the wrong guy. Uh, eight for the runner, yeah. Yeah, but it's been such a long game. <laughs> oh my yeah. I was expecting it to be f over much sooner. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm gonna drop in and out because I have to cook my lunch before I catch my yeah, team, yeah. So. cool, cool. It's still a good game, even like the one, the first one was fast, but it was, man, some mistakes were happened, but it was good. And this one was long, but it was a good game. You yeah. couldn't say that it was like, oh, such a bad game. It's yeah. Some mistakes here, some mistakes there, but uh, nothing huge, like tiny little things that everybody does. Pay. I do believe, yeah. Miscalculations yeah, you, and stuff. You can tell they're really good players, both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They stuck together. <laughs> yeah, at this point you don't see three of them. He, he doesn't need any of them right now, yeah. actually. I'm not sure I would actually draw cards, I would probably just make money. Uh, I think he's looking for the Femme Fatale. Yeah, true. Okay, we're gonna see another agenda scored. Oh, nice, uh, War of Thrones. That might do something. Yeah, that's actually decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he now needs a three pointer. Imagine. Problem is that the uh, Wall of Thrones, he can put it on his, uh, if he put it on his remote, it's going to cost like a truckload of money. Maybe he didn't realize he didn't actually, uh, did he use it? No, he didn't. No, no. Hmm? Uh, he might as well. Make sure his uh, 
keeping him uh, honest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, typing problems. <laughs> uh, happens, happens. He was trying to use the uh, sneak door. Yeah, but then he remembered he can't if he does that, but it's like, yeah, might as well have a open those phone. Okay, HQ. There you go. Ah, there's no point raising, I think. Keep the card safe. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Maybe if he raises it, he can bluff that he has a knight center there. But we'll see. Ah, uh, I wouldn't he do it. Could use the money more. Yeah. yeah. Because next turn he's can, uh, he can play an agenda and uh, have the corporate troubleshooter protect. And still four credits to get, one credit effectively to get in. Plus two from the inside job, so three credits to break in. That wasn't cheap. And if at least he would have seen that Wall of Thorns, maybe it would have been useful mm. later, but no? I don't think we'll see that Wall of Thorns, though. So. Yeah, me either. Although, <laughs> if he actually he managed to to get the, to put the Wall of Thorns and the runner doesn't uh, have enough money to break it, he can get zapped from it and it would be quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Brain damage runners should fear Wall of Thorns. Yeah. No, no agenda there. I, th I think he should draw cards. Mm, no, I think he's probably, probably going to take money. Yeah. But this game is going so slow. Yeah, it's... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, at least we know it's going to end in 11 more corp turns. Yeah. Actually, 12. Oh, let's see. Take the credits, Femme Fatale. It's probably worth it, that account siphon. It's gonna give him a lot of money. And he can just keep the tags, whatever. Yeah. He can keep the tags he and have... make the runner, the corporation a bit poorer. Yeah, yeah. But it's not going to give him that much money. It's actually going to cost him money because it's going to cost him eight plus three plus two ten. It's going to give him three basically. Yeah, that's why he didn't do it in the end. Come on, agenda. Let's see some please excitement. Please. <laughs> Let's see some excitement in this game. No! Oh, boy. How much ice does he have in this deck? <laughs> A lot. You know, if he actually used the accelerated beta test, he would have had three ice down. Yeah, yeah. And so, there's six in his hand, five on that server, and nine more on the other server. So it's like five plus nine, 14 plus six, 20. He has 20 pieces of ice, just real, and he has 10 more cards left. Yeah. And he has to have, out of those, at least four have to be agenda. So now it's even better than one in three chance of getting one. Yeah, now he's drawing. Oh, and it is quite useful. He has a lot of pieces of ice. I'm, I'm just counting dice now. It's, it's he's going to discard, discard the roto tarts now. They're thoroughly useless.
he dropped an ice ball too, because that was useless anyway. Yeah. So, do you think he can actually play any of these ice on that remote to make it more safe? And if so, which? Hard to call it. If he plays another another bioroid, it means that uh, he won't be able to use E3 for all bioroids. That's not that big of a deal right now. No. Well, the the. Uh, Tobu says the really costly one. So yeah, okay. but victors are fairly costly as well if you think about it. Yeah, they cost six. Yeah, victors are really costly. They're, cheaper, they're a lot cheaper to res. Yeah, but they're already rest. So what I would think is play that Itchy, and then he either has to eat six for uh, Victor or uh, eat uh, how much does the Nietzsche cost? Cost 3 plus 4 plus 3 6. The cheapest he can break a Bioroid if he drops a Nietzsche is 6. Mm. So it's worth yeah, it I think. Yeah, Here we go. Going for that, yeah, yeah, we're going to see the Katana now. Oh I have to drop out a bit. Okay, so he removed the tags, I wouldn't have done it in his place, but no, why not? Doesn't seem, the bio, the, the has bio doesn't seem anything to punish his tags. I think I would have just kept the money. It's much more important at this point, and the best he can do is just trust your uh, compromised employees, which at the point have done all, the, all they're going to do, probably. He did the uh, he did account safe on him, and uh, mm. he chose to remove the tags, which I'm not sure I agree with because that's four credits. He could have uh, six credits basically if you included the actions. He could have saved. So, and the do it doesn't seem to be punishing those tags. So why not? So I think at the moment he's trying to waste the money from uh, Fritzler. That's not gonna work. <laughs> no. Fritz can just sit back and get credits while forcing him to just, you know, pay everything. Well, that paid for itself. So Scopromise employees at the start of the game so good. They, may have, they must have paid 20 credits by now. Yeah, especially against a nice heavy deck like this one. Yeah, but I, I don't think uh, John D has any actual chances of winning this, because... Yeah, I think luck. Luck will do it. Also, the... He's fairly... Uh, he has quite a lot of money now. So, there's the three-pointer, finally. Yeah, now it's getting interesting. 
Is it easier? Maybe not. Hmm? Maybe not. Uh, John can break yeah. through that server. Quite easily, I think. With 15 credits, he needs to bluff him once. No, he's going to do it. Yeah, yeah, he just... He's probably... Is, <laughs> he's probably sick of this long game as much as we are, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. I'm sure he must have done the calculation in his head. Let's see. Or maybe he's bluffing. I don't think he... I don't think he... He didn't take a long pause, so and that would have taken him a while. I think he uh, made... I'm he, sure he can get through. Yeah, I think he didn't uh, He didn't uh, think of it a lot because he wants to make it look like a bluff. We'll see. The big disadvantage is we've been through almost all of his deck and we haven't seen any traps. And that's probably a sign towards a runner. Maybe he's not running traps. A moment of truth. This turn is make or break. Nope, nicely done. He is not going to run it, he's thinking it's a bluff. I think me he might actually win this game, let's see. The other thing he can do is uh, Deja Vu Steam Hack. A Deja Vu Steam Hack can actually win this, I think. Yeah, the problem right now is he, he won't use the uh, E3 uh, feedback implants if he does that. No. True. Oh, he lost it. He lost it. Oh my god! Nicely played from Fruitsle. Played that agenda with no hesitation. And that actually won him the game. Very bold move, very bold move. And he actually paid off. Yeah, it was nice. He, he earned this victory. Very nice game. Yeah, two very good games between these two players. It did take forever though. So... <laughs> the, the second one did. <laughs> he actually flipped a coin to figure out if he's going to run or not. That's called... Uh, Trying to get rid of the responsibility <laughs> on the on fate now. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for uh, joining me, and uh, I think we both have to run now. Yes, we both have to disappear uh, quickly. Yeah, and uh, until.